do SARMs lower natural testosterone. I'm Dr. Tony Huge here with G of Gains by the Day. We have his actual lab work before and after five weeks apart, five weeks on SARMs, and they did lower his natural testosterone production a lot. I'm gonna give you the exact before number, the exact after number, I'm gonna tell you the cycle he took. The cycle he took was the the new, these are the two, the first two are brand new SARMs, very experimental, not for human consumption. He's doing his own research in jurisdictions where it's completely legal to do such research. It's uh, first one is AC-262536. He took 20 milligrams per day. ACP-105, he took 20 milligrams per day. And S4, he took 50 milligrams per day. So three different SARMs at pretty high dosages for five weeks. The net effect being he did lose a lot of body fat. He did gain a lot of muscle, a lot of strength, but his natural testosterone went down. We were doing this under the supervision of a doctor, doing all lab work along the way. Uh, under doctor supervision. That way we could experiment. He could experiment and find out how these things affect him. The free testosterone before starting the SARMs was really high. 803 NG per DL. There, my, testo my natural testosterone, I've never had a test come out that high. That's before he ever took anything. That's a beginner with no weightlifting experience, um, not taking any SARMs, not taking any supplements. Uh, and I'll just, we didn't do the free testosterone in the second one, but I'll say that his free testosterone was very high because his sex hormone binding globulin was very low. So his total testosterone was very high. His free testosterone was very high. His sex hormone binding globulin was very low. It was only 5.17. And the normal for his age is somewhere in the 20s, even up to 30. So his sex hormone binding globulin was naturally extremely low, which means that his natural testosterone total testosterone is very high. And then sex hormone binding globulin, SHBG, eats up that testosterone and leaves a small percentage that's actual usable testosterone. But because his sex hormone binding globulin was so low, his free testosterone was super high too. His free testosterone, I am gonna just tell you because it's exciting. <laughs> his free testosterone was 30. The normal range is seven to 16. He's double the highest end of the normal range naturally, uh, but not for long because after the <laughs> SARM cycle of just five weeks, he, his testosterone crashed to 309. So we started off at 803, five weeks later, we're down to 309, which I consider to be low testosterone. Um, that's, that's high, but that is still higher than my body naturally produces because I've done so many steroid cycles and I haven't given myself a long enough break. So to me, that's still okay, but to him, that's extremely now, low testosterone. If I recall correctly, you did mention that your testosterone was almost as females. Yeah, my <laughs> testosterone crashed. But this is what's interesting. How do I feel when my testosterone is zero, but I'm on SARMs? Mm -hmm. Okay, now he was, he, he, there, there was a day when he didn't take SARMs, and so he doesn't have any anabolic or androgens in his system because his testosterone is very low and he didn't take the SARMs. How did you feel on that day when your testosterone was crashed and you didn't take the SARMs? I have to tell you right now that I had a major crash. And I mean, talk about just completely. I could not even function. My brain functionality was not right. My muscles were just like crushed after being in the gym. I, I just couldn't function at all that day. I just wanted to lay down and just, you know, regain that strength a little bit, take them the next day, and definitely take my SARMs because I noticed a significant, and I mean drastic uh, difference between taking them and not taking them. It was just So he had good. the same experience I had, which is that when my testosterone crashes on SARMs, my natural testosterone, it doesn't really matter because the SARMs seem to replace all the benefits in my body of the testosterone. So I don't have any side effects of low testosterone when I'm on the SARMs, usually. And he, the same thing happened for him. Then the next day he takes the SARMs and even though your testosterone is still crashed, how did you feel when you took the SARMs again? It, it was, it was kind of like a regaining of factor. It was, I felt a difference. I knew that I needed to continue on the SARMs because it was something that I, my body was asking for it at that point. So, oh, he's addicted. <laughs> I mean, indirectly, you, you could say that, I guess. But um, so, since then, he hasn't missed a dosage of SARMs. Needless no, to say, absolutely not. Yeah. Um, 
Now, how much lower would his testosterone go if he continues on the cycle? It'll probably continue to creep down, especially if he's on a low, higher dosage. Oh, keep in mind, he's on a very high dosage. He's on three different SARMs at a dosage of each SARM. So he's taking like three times what a normal person would do because we wanted to do lab work and we wanted to do an analysis and the doctor really wanted to see because the doctor didn't have a lot of experience with this, but he has a lot of experience with testosterone replacement therapy and with athletes. He wanted to see how SARMs affect someone's blood work, which is why we're also gonna do more videos on his blood work before and after his SARM cycle. He's gonna continue doing SARM cycle experiments and reporting back to you what his doctor says. We'll even do some videos with the doctor, and then we're also gonna give you uh, more data on his lab work along the way. Be swole and swole, friends of freedom, pioneers of human evolution.